Alright, now let's look at how we derive the formula for bright fringe in single slit okay, diffraction. Right, now for bright fringe, uh, we, uh, we divide the slit into odd parts, okay, odd partition. That means we have, um, uh, we have um, three partition, three parts, we have uh, five parts, uh, seven parts, all the odd number, yeah? uh, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. Okay, so let us first look at the three parts. Okay, let's divide it to three parts and let's see what happened. Okay, um, so the same thing as before, uh, as, uh, A divided by 3, so uh, each size is A over 3. And then like uh, the first particle and the, the first particle in the first partition with the first particle in the second partition, uh, uh, the first particle and this first partic particle, uh, the difference is uh, half lambda. Yeah, same like before, half lambda. So, um, and then C and D also difference by half lambda. D and B also difference by half lambda. So let's look at uh, uh let's look uh to at the total okay so uh c and d also differ by half lambda d and b also differ by half lambda so we can say a and d a and d differ by half plus half become one lambda and then after that uh a and b uh, will differ by half plus half plus half uh, that is uh one half lambda yeah so here you can see uh, there is a one half lambda yeah between uh, a and b okay uh, now uh, let's look at uh, how we derive the formula so we know from a yeah let's look at a between a and c between a and c is a over three okay so the path difference ce okay this is uh, the delta l is the ce right uh, CE is the delta L, which is uh, AO3 sine theta. Okay, this is trigonometry. Uh, and CE also is just half lambda. Yeah, between the path difference between A and C is just half lambda. Uh, half lambda, yeah. So, uh, okay, this equal to half lambda. And then we simplify the formula. Okay, uh, 3 multiplied to the top. Uh, and then we got 1 plus half lambda. Uh, that is uh, for the whole A. Uh, you see that? For the whole slit, for the whole slit A, uh, for the whole slit A, yeah? See that? Uh, for the whole slit A, okay? For the whole slit A, uh, the between, uh, for the whole slit A, the path difference is one half lambda. Uh, one half lambda, which is one plus half lambda. Uh, okay? Uh, three half uh, three over two lambda is uh, one plus half lambda okay uh, and then uh, so as you can see uh, this first strip and the second strip they uh, pair up and cancel each other and third strip has no pair to cancel so this uh, this light will be the remaining light okay this remaining light is only one third of the light entering one third of the light uh, that's why this one uh, this uh, we can say the first first bright fringe. This first bright fringe is uh, only one third of light compared to the central maximum. Uh, yeah, uh, this one is only one third of light from the central maximum, so it's less intensity. Uh, it's less intensity. Only one third one third of the light. Now, uh, let's look at. Uh, now we divide into five parts. So again, the same. Uh, the first particle and the first particle differ by half lambda. Okay, let me draw it out. Uh, half lambda, and then let's draw it out. Yeah, draw it out. So and then this one, all this is half lambda, half lambda. Ah, uh, yeah, here also half lambda. So this will become one lambda, one plus half lambda. Uh, this one become two lambda, and then the last one is uh, one lambda, two lambda, and then half lambda. So this one is two half lambda. Ah, uh, can you see that? This is a uh, this is a uh, two half lambda. Okay, one, two, two and a half. Ah, uh, so same thing. Yeah, a over five. Ah, uh, sine theta equal to lambda over two. We rearrange the formula. We got two half lambda. This one is this delta L is a uh, two half lambda. Okay. 
uh, 2 plus half lambda. Uh, and then, uh, so, and then the, the last one is uh, the same thing. Okay, divide by 7 parts. Uh, this one is uh, 8 over 7, lambda over 2. And then the last one, we will get uh, 3 half lambda. Okay, 3 half lambda. So, you can see here, from here you can see, um, the general formula is uh, for bright fringe. Okay, this is for bright fringe. Okay, bright fringe, odd parts. Uh, yeah. Uh, the first one is just remain of one one third of light, and this one uh, uh, we have four pairs all cancel each other. One cancel by two, three cancel by four. So left with only one fifth of light to form the uh, second bright fringe. So it's much the intensity much lower, yeah, because only remaining one fifth of light. Uh, and then this one is uh, only left with uh, one seventh of light uh, of light. Yeah, so it's even dimmer. Yeah, this light is even dimmer. All the parts already been cancelled. So that's why we can see. Um, uh, look at the uh, yeah here the top one. Ah, uh, that's why we can see. Yeah, you see that. Ah, uh, yeah. This one. Uh, this one is. Um, uh, this one is all light. Central red fringe is all light. Yeah. The light, uh, the light intensity. Uh, here you can see, here you can see the light intensity. Uh, here is uh, all light, uh, all light. Uh, that's why it's very intense. This one is only one third of light. This one is only one fifth of light. And this one is, uh, you cannot see anymore. Yeah? It's one seventh of light. Uh, the, the third bright fringe. Yeah? One third of light. Uh, it's exactly one third of light. Uh? Uh, this one is one fifth. This one seventh. Okay, so that's why the intensity become lower and lower. Uh, if uh, if for uh, double slit, there's not, uh, there's no such thing. Yeah, uh, destructive interference. Uh, they don't. In, uh, the intensity is all the same. The intensity is all the same. You see that? Uh, for for double slit interference, the intensity is all the same. Uh, because they don't cancel each other, the light they don't for the constructive interference, bright fringe, they don't cancel each other the light. Uh, but for single slit, they uh cancel each other. The light cancel each other, left with one third, one fifth, one seventh of light. That's why the intensity become lower. So now let's look at uh the formula again. So uh yeah, so less and less light, not cancelled. So uh, intensity decreases. So now let's look at uh, the general formula for this bright fringe. Okay, the bright fringe odd parts. So uh, you can see here is one one uh, one half is one half uh, one half uh, two half three half. So it's a uh, n plus half. The n also start from one. You see that? So we here we also cannot find n equal to zero. Uh, there's no n equal to zero and also start from one uh, n and start at one okay so same like the dark fringe the dark fringe also the dark fringe also and start from one you see that uh, for the dark fringe this is for the dark fringe okay and also start from one uh, okay so for dark, uh, bright fringe and also start from one, yeah, all because of equations. Start from one and then two and then three. So uh, the general formula is n plus half lambda. Uh, n is uh, either uh, is one, two, three, positive or negative. Negative means below below the screen. Positive is above the screen. Now, uh, if a sin theta is n plus half lambda, then the y is n plus half lambda. Okay, if a sin theta is n plus half lambda, so the y also n plus half lambda. Ah, that is for dark fringe formula. Eh, no, that is for bright fringe formula. Okay, so now uh, I want to conclude. Uh, one very, uh, I want to compare between this double slit and single slit. Okay, so um, yeah, I just want to make a comparison. Yeah, for this. So for double slit, for double slit, uh, the order start from zero. Okay, first of all, the double slit order start from zero, but single slit order start from one. Okay, 
uh, single slit, double slit means two slits, single slit means one slit. Um, uh, you can see basically that uh, dark, uh, double slit is just like in phase source, yeah, it's in phase source. Single slit is uh, considered like anti phase source, but actually, single slit is not anti phase. Why I put anti-phase is because I uh, just want to make you easy to remember the formula. Uh, actually, single slit is not anti-phase. It's not anti-phase. Yeah, it's, not, it's still in phase. The source still comes in phase. But the formula looks like they are in anti-phase. The formula makes it look like they are anti-phase. Okay? They are still in phase. Uh, only the formula looks like they are anti-phase. Uh, why I say like that? Because, see, remember this one? About I talking about this uh, in phase and anti phase uh, formula. Uh, if in phase the bright fringe delta L is m lambda, but for anti phase the bright fringe use uh, m plus half lambda. Uh, so we can consider uh, double slit is like in phase, uh, single slit is like anti phase. Okay, uh, you see uh, this one. Okay, you see this one. Uh, you see. Uh, double slit is like in phase. That's why the bright fringe use m plus uh, the bright fringe use m lambda. But for the single slit, it's like anti phase. The bright fringe use n plus half lambda. Uh, the 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 m is the same as n lah. The, it's still this all still means order. Okay, uh, just different alphabet. Uh, so you see the formula for single slit. Uh, the bright fringe uh, is like anti phase. Uh, anti phase bright fringe. Uh, although it's still in phase, but it, the formula looks like in anti phase. Uh, okay, so the bright fringe should, for single slit use n plus half lambda, but double slit use m lambda. For dark fringe, uh, double slit which is in phase, dark fringe use uh, m plus half lambda, but for single slit like anti phase, dark fringe use n lambda. Ah, uh, just like just like this one. You see that? Uh, like this one in phase, just like for double slit. Uh, anti phase just like for single slit, uh, yeah, single slit, yeah, single slit dark fringe use m lambda, just like this one. See, uh, single slit dark fringe use n lambda. Ah, uh, so um, the equation is almost similar. Do you see that? Uh, it's just that um, this one use d d because it's called separation, yeah, separation between the slit. These uh, because double slit has two slits. So D is a separation between the two slits, and uh, for single slit, you use A. A means the size of the slit opening, size of the slit opening. Uh, okay, uh, and the rest is the same. Uh, y is the position of the fringes. Okay, uh, so we have position of bright fringe and position of dark fringe. And then, uh, yeah, for double slit, we do calculate the delta Y, but for single slit, we don't calculate the delta Y because for double slit, the delta Y is we can say is a regular interval. Uh, you see the double slit. Uh, the delta y is the same. Uh, yeah, the delta y is the delta y. Look at the delta y. Uh, you see the delta y. The delta y is the same for all along. Uh, the delta y or the delta y is the same. Uh, all the delta y is uh, consistent. But for single slit. Single slit, uh, we don't. Yeah, uh, single slit. The delta y is not not consistent. You see, uh, the delta y between uh, this one is longer. This one is shorter. So the delta y is uh, we don't consider. Yeah, for single slit. So the uh, the delta y is a separation between the fringes. Uh, delta y you only calculate for double slit. Uh, lambda d over d. But for single slit, we don't calculate the delta y. Okay, um, and then uh, I think that's uh, the, um, enough for this videos. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay.